Honorable Doug Phillips, Commissioner of the Yukon, the many distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, fellow Yukoners, good afternoon and thank you for joining us today for this very special occasion. It is with great humility that I and my cabinet colleagues accept the responsibility to represent and to serve the people of Yukon. It is both an honor and a privilege. I want to acknowledge and thank Janet Moody, the Deputy Minister of the Executive Council Office and her staff for all their work in organizing this very special event today. A few moments ago, the new Yukon Cabinet was sworn into office. The new Cabinet is representative of the richness and the diversity of the territory in that the ministers come from all walks of life and from the various regions of the territory. As a collective, we will work to act in the best interests of Yukon and of Canada as a whole. The new cabinet has, brought, has a broad range of experience, including those who have served in two previous governments and those who have served in other Yukon governments, as well as new members. I welcome you one and all, I welcome you all to the Team Yukon. I'm looking forward to working with all of you in the coming months and years. The swearing in of the new Yukon Cabinet is indeed a historic event. While we have many new members, no previous Yukon government has ever succeeded in winning three consecutive terms in office. The continuing vision and direction that started in 2002 has been renewed in 2011 and will continue forward for the next five years. Our new mandate, outlined in Moving Forward Together, is built upon the solid foundation of our two previous mandates. Our 2011 election platform, like its two predecessors, is based on four pillars. The economy, the environment, quality of life, and good governance. Yukon has experienced nine years of unprecedented economic growth and clearly is on the pathway to prosperity. We are committed to continuing this trend for the next five years. Under the economy pillar, we have pledged to promote a strong, diversified private sector economy and ensure Yukon First Nations remain full partners in the economic development of the territory for the mutual benefit of all Yukoners. We have committed to expanding the Yukon economy by promoting the development of our economic mainstays, such as mining, both hard rock and plaster, as well as tourism and small business. We have committed to economic diversification by promoting the development of other sectors, such as arts and culture, film and sound, forestry, agriculture, wilderness tourism, outfitting, trapping, research and development, knowledge-based initiatives, and value-added manufacturing. We have pledged to expand the Yukon economy by providing the necessary communication and transportation infrastructure, the highways, resource roads, airports, and seaports that support economic growth. Under the environment pillar, we have committed to protecting Yukon's environment, preserving its wildlife, and working to mitigate and adapt to the impacts of climate change. We have pledged to provide access to land and create certainty over Yukon's land and resources through the implementation of land claim treaties and a balanced approach to land use planning. We have committed to providing Yukoners with clean, affordable energy, utilizing as much as possible Yukon's natural resources. Under the quality of life pillar, we have pledged to work to build healthy, safe communities with skilled, self-reliant people. We've committed to educating Yukoners today for jobs tomorrow. We've committed to addressing substance abuse and fetal alcohol spectrum disorder and to introducing initiatives to protect and support the families. We have pledged to implement a comprehensive strategy to address the housing needs of Yukoners. We have pledged to improve Yukoners' access to family doctors, 
to nurses and medical services while providing better care and services for our elders and seniors, as well as measures to protect and support the family. We have pledged to support sports and recreation that promote healthy, active living, and a better quality of life. Under the Good Governance Pillar, we have committed to working collaboratively with Yukon First Nations, Yukon municipalities, our two sister territories, our three closest neighbors, Alaska, British Columbia, and Alberta, the Council of Federation representing all the provinces and territories, and the Government of Canada, as well as the global community. We have committed to working with business and industry, non-governmental organizations, and social agencies to build a, co a competitive economy, a strong social fabric, a vibrant artistic and cultural community, and a healthy environment. We have committed to practicing open, accountable, fiscally responsible government and to continue to promote consensus building, collaboration and compromise, both within and outside the Yukon Legislative Assembly. Ladies and gentlemen, we have pledged to do all these things and many, many more over the course of the next five years. We cannot meet these commitments alone. These commitments can only be accomplished through the able assistance of the Yukon government's professional public service, whose dedication to duty has served Yukoners so well in meeting our commitments over the last nine years. For their service to Yukoners, we thank them one and all. I also want to thank our families in front of us for their support in making this day possible. Public life is not easy. It requires sacrifices by our spouses and our children. We could not be here today without your support. I want to thank our commissioner, there he is, Doug Phillips, a long-serving member of the Yukon Legislative Assembly for his years of continued, continuing dedicated service to the territory. You are a source of inspiration to us all. Above all, in closing, I want to thank the people of the Yukon for placing their trust in us. Our cabinet and caucus are committed to working with Yukoners for Yukoners. We will work each day to live up to that trust. God bless Yukon, God bless Canada, and God save the Queen. Thank you one and all for coming out today.